washi blessing wo lai ti zimbabwe ah wo dai jong wo shen ho da gai xin yan la From my childhood, I really wanted to have a studio. And when I came to China, I saw that a lot of Chinese people really enjoyed to uh, experience the African music. I graduated uh, in 2019 from Zhejiang University. And uh, after I graduated, I took maybe about six months uh, to start this, uh, this studio. And we have a band. My plan is that the band can be one of the main uh, anchor of the studio because we want music to be the tool that can help develop the Africa-China relation, especially on the part of culture. My name is Joshua, I'm from Zambia. I'm the band leader. Starting this company, we we're always trying to push it forward so it can get uh, more known around China and especially that we're, us being foreigners, it's not a very easy task, so we have to do something extra. Yeah, we are mostly working every day, uh, rehearsing every day. We, uh, we always have something to do. Mostly every weekend we, are, we have an outdoor performance and uh, if we're not doing an outdoor performance then we have a concert at our uh, company place. Yeah, so we're always up and about doing stuff like that, yeah. We usually have a great, a great experience where Chinese, it's a really good experience yeah, with yeah, them because the they're really yeah, interested yeah. to find out what's going on with the music in Africa and can you really teach us and can we blend together and have uh, a connection with that music. Usually Chinese people have so much fun when they, when they open themselves up and once they open themselves up they can know that we people, there's nothing really different. We are just of different color, right? But the music and what we do still speaks to the soul and everybody's happy. China is, is a really uh, outgoing place and the economy is very fast so there are opportunities almost everywhere and every day and right now our company is, is really coming to that place where it's going to be stable so it can support uh, our life here in China you know this is a very important aspect and I think when you work hard and you're committed to what you do it will happen <laughs>